So let's talk about the space program. NASA isn't doing everything it used to do. Um, is the commercial uh, sector, are you now actually designing the missile, the, the rockets? And what is the plan that you have is to take yeah. a, a rocket to the moon again and to Mars? Yeah. I, I think this is the most exciting time in, uh, in our country's space program in decades. And uh, we're literally working on things now that are bigger than the Apollo program. I'm not sure it's as well known across the country. But we are in the midst of a space transformation uh, in this country. And uh, the commercial uh, entrants here are adding energy. Uh, we're building a new CST-100 Starliner, which will be the first American-made capsule to get us back to the space station. And we're building the new rocket to Mars with NASA. And uh, this new space launch system, it's a rocket that's about uh, 38 stories tall, about 9.2 million pounds of thrust. If you want to put that in car terms, it's a uh, about 207,000 Corvette engines. And uh, we're gonna do first test launch here over the next couple of years. Uh, we're gonna do a slingshot mission to the moon, return to the moon, set up a lunar gateway, and then we're gonna go to Mars. And the first person to step foot on Mars is gonna get there on a Boeing rocket. Really? Yeah. Well, they come back on a Boeing rocket. Yes. That's right. That's right. Okay, all right. Um, in, no. in, in, uh, in Boeing's uh, version of the space business, but it's always a two-way trip. Okay. <laughs> but it takes six months to get to Mars, more or less, right? Six months? On that order, yeah. Okay. So uh, I actually read that there were <clears throat> hundreds of thousands of people who signed up to go to Mars being told that they wouldn't come back. Yeah. Um, but I don't know who these people are. But yeah, uh, that's, that's why I tell you, we're, we're in the round trip business. Okay, round trip. <laughs>